chapter 4.1, we're looking at polynomial functions and graphing them. So recall that a monomial, so let's look at some definitions, a monomial is a number of variable, number of variable, or the product of a number and one or more variables with whole number exponents. Okay, so there's no negatives, it can't be a fraction, and so forth. Or it cannot be a variable either, so it has to be a whole number, which is positive numbers. So for example, we could have negative 5, that's a monomial. We could have 3x to the fifth. We could have 1 half x squared. We could have the square root of 5 times x, y cubed. Those are all examples of monomials. A polynomial is a monomial or a sum of monomials. So a polynomial function is a function of this form. So I know that looks kind of crazy, uh, but it's just um, we'll define it in just a little bit. So the exponents are all whole numbers and the coefficients, the numbers in front, are all real numbers, so no imaginary numbers. So they're all real numbers, no i. For this function here, a sub n is the leading coefficient. And n is the degree. a sub 0, the number all the way at the end, what that is is the constant. Constant term. A polynomial function is in standard form when its terms are written in descending order. of exponents from left to right. So for example, you should see 3x cubed plus 7x squared minus 11x plus 3. Okay, so that's it. it has to be in order. The exponents are descending. So common polynomial functions, so let's look at degree 0. That's our constant. So an example of that is negative 14, a number, no variable. Then we have a linear equation. We have a sub 1x plus a sub 0. So this, an example of this is 5x minus 7, so a linear equation. We think of y equals mx plus b. Uh, quadratic, that's the degree of 2. And so we're going to write it a sub 2 of x squared, and then the rest of it, a sub 1 of x plus a sub 0. So an example of this is like 2x squared plus x minus 9. That's what we did last chapter. Now let's look at a cubic. So a cubic will be a sub 3x cubed plus a sub 2x squared plus a sub 1x plus a sub 0. So an example of this is like x cubed minus x squared and plus 3. So all the terms don't have to be there if we're in order for it to be a cubic. Uh, the last one is quartic. Quartic is we have an a sub 4 x to the fourth plus a cubed x cubed plus a squared x squared plus a sub 1 x plus a sub 0. And this is x to the fourth plus 2x minus 1. That's an example of a quartic. So what we're going to do um, is we're going to identify polynomial functions. We're going to decide whether each function is a polynomial function. If it is, then we're going to write it in standard form if it's not in standard form. And then we're, we're going to state its degree, type, and the leading coefficient. So we have the example f of x equals negative 2x cubed plus 5x plus 8. And so we decide, is this a polynomial? Yes, it is. And the exponents are in descending order. This is cubed, and then to the first, and 8. So we don't need to rewrite it. The degree. The degree is just the highest exponent here. So our degree is 3. The leading coefficient is just the number in front of that degree, uh, the high degree. So this answer, leading coefficient, is the negative 2. So letter B, we have negative 0.8x cubed plus square root of 2x to the fourth minus 12. Is this a polynomial? 
Yes, it is. It seems like that it might not be because of the square root of 2, but if we look at the definition of a polynomial, it's a polynomial uh, with whole number exponents. So all of the exponents for this example are all uh, whole numbers, 3 and 4, and it's okay that the coefficients have a square root in them. If we have a fraction in them, if there's decimals, that's fine. So this is a polynomial. So this is yes. It is not in standard form because x to the 4th should be in the front. So this is square root of 2, x to the 4th, minus 0 0.8 x cubed minus 12. So now it's in standard form. Our degree is this number up here. Oops, this number at the top, the 4. And so therefore, the degree is 4. The leading coefficient in this case is this square root of 2. Here, is this a polynomial function? This is no. We have 7x minus 1 is a negative exponent. So this is not a polynomial, and we stop there. Letter D, is this a polynomial function? This is also a no, because there is a uh, 3 to the x that is a variable exponent. It is not a whole number, so therefore this is not a polynomial. So go ahead and try these examples here. Uh, try 1, 2, and 3. We try this out. Number one, that is a polynomial function, and we, you have to rewrite it. So negative 1.6x squared minus 5x plus 7. Our degree is 2. The leading coefficient is negative 1.6. For number two, this is not a polynomial function. There is a negative in the exponent. Number three, this is a polynomial function. You need to rewrite it as 3x to the fourth plus x cubed minus 6x. Degree is 4. Leading coefficient is 3.